Hello and welcome back to another Fallout 76 Junk Location video. In last week's video someone asked me if I could come over and check out the Thornwright Industrial Headquarters in Charleston. And when they first said it I was like, uh, you won't get much stuff in there. Until I arrived and I realised that they are right and I am wrong. So here we are, we're just here, like I say, in Charleston, the Thornwright Industrial Headquarters. Um, it's the first of the two of these towers closest to the train station and it's quite close to Fault 76 just south and again just outside of Flatwoods a quite nice early on place to go to now there is a quest line inside here as well but we'll go on through that as we do it also we'll show you all the weapons I have before I go inside all the apparel I had before we go on inside so you know what it is I picked up and what it is that we have left now I've got more um, aid on me than I would normally have but you can see what I've got. That flux will probably disappear while we're in here. Um, and again, as always, no junk. And oh, we've got a couple of arrows. 37, but that's it. So that's everything. Let's go kill everything and loot the place. Okay, I have now completely cleared out the entire building. Everything is dead. We've gone through all the doorways and lifts. And as you can see, there's a power armor back there. Um, um, we've got all the key cards to get way through all the doorways and I wanted to show you something new though. I was in one of the lifts and I saw this, the cave, and I was like, I'm sure I've not seen this before. So let's, um, and I thought, let's go along. Maybe this is why they told me to come here? I don't know, the, my subscriber. So I came along and there's this new door with a camera outside and it says requires key cards. And I was like, do I have it? Am I just not remembering this? And then I realized I didn't have it. So this has got to be something new added in with Wastelanders. So I am super excited to find out what this is, but I will do that at a later date. Right now, let's carry on with the junk inside the building. Also, the highest lock that I found was a level one, and the highest terminal was a skill level of two. I also have on me this time um, Farmer Farmer to collect more um, chems, and I've got Can Do level two to see if I can get some more food. So now I have cleared out the entire building with my um, perk cards in place. So now we're going to have a look and see everything that I've ended up with um, after clearing the whole place out. So we'll start with weapons. Now inside the building is scorched everywhere. Um, they're not particularly high levels, they're kind of easy to take out and you've got your typical scorched kind of, um, uh, uh, not ammo, sorry, weapons here. And then the apparel, again we didn't find, well, Again, I say, sorry, we didn't find that much apparel in here. We did get, of course, like I said, the um, power armor, and we found a couple of bits of normal armor here and there, but apart from that, that was basically it. In aid, we found a good amount of, an okay amount of aid, should I say, actually. Um, probably to do with, we had can do equipped and farmer farmer, so that's going to help a lot in the, the aid section, but there wasn't that many um, chem boxes to search, so. Mm, see what you think and then our junk here is here oh sorry in misc as well there's a lot of ore in here now i forgot that completely so i don't actually know how much i got and how much was already here um but for example there was lots i'm sure of iron ore and i don't think i had any iron on me already so there was 11 iron ore there was lead ore gold ore and again we had another one of these pleasant valley claim tickets one day i'll figure out what they're for <laughs> i've got no idea just now it's kind of exciting so anyway here's all the junk that i ended up with um some burnt things um, I'm just going to speed this up again as normal because there's just so much variety in here and then we'll scrap it all down and show you the components of what we actually have. And here is our ammo which um, a couple of like 0.45 so not bad amount. We've got mini nuke, we've got some shotgun shells, no huge amounts of ammo in here today for us. Um, yeah the 45s is probably about the best that I could see. So let's scrap it down. We're also using the scrapper perk again so we can get more components from the weapons that we got while we're in here. So first we will get rid of all the weapons and every time I do one of these videos we get a, an atomic shop challenge and get some points. It's great when we scrap all this stuff down. I love it. <laughs> so um, let's go through all this. The bow I already had on me and everything else that isn't a legendary 
um, I picked up in here. Again, there wasn't any legendary in here. I think out of all these videos I've done, I found one legendary, and that was at Westick. And that was it. <laughs> but anyway, the bow was already mine. And then we'll go to apparel. We'll get rid of the dirty tan suit I picked up in here, the G-Star jacket and jeans, the minor hat, um, and these armor pieces, and then all the power armor. I will scrap them as well. So we'll get rid of the last one there. And then, of course, we're going to scrap all of our junk and um oh we've already done that <laughs> and see what we get so let's have a look at the final numbers we have here in junk we'll scroll up to the top um we've got lots of bone shards that because there was super mutants in here they were all dead um so there's meat bags and stuff and there was lots of dead bodies lying around um we have an okay amount of plastic the okay amount of cloth steel as always is pretty high 316 steel but apart from that it's all again this looks like a nice low level place to come and clear it out if you're kind of low level charleston um horn right industrial uh headquarters that's what it is come along here so that's everything for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it if you have another area that you'd like me to go and kill everything and hoard everything let me know and i'll get straight on that for you guys um until then i'll oops that was my cat sorry <laughs> i'll catch you later okie doke guys bye